Welcome everyone to, to the shipyards. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yard Master. Joining our host, the Houseco Gamer. Yo. Today we are taking a look at the Condor class, also known as the War Eagle class. And this is another one of those ships that could be considered a prototype of the Double D. In fact, you could consider it the... What? Is there a letter before A? Uh, I don't think so, but you could consider it the pound sign. As in numeric. Yeah. Because I think numbers come before... Uh, yeah, num numbers before letters in most uh, categorization schemes. Regardless, this is the original D Double D style warbird. Introduced in 2286, just in time for open hostilities be between the Federation, the Kleons, and the Romulans, in what is referred to as the Organian Conflict. Right. Three of these v massive vessels pretty much outgunned, outfunned, and overpowered everything in sight, which prompted the introduction of ships like the Ulysses and the Pumuel class. Yeah. Of course, these ships were not invincible, they were actually quite sluggish, but as an Akula flight managed to destroy one, But they wow. kind of proved their worth as super powerful warships. In fact, a de direct development, the Milak class, or Detala, would eventually be developed directly off this type. Of course, the technological revolution she, she kick-started quickly overtook her. Yeah. Still, the Condor would be used in many experiments and have a long lifespan. She was, in fact, the first, one of the first starships to use an artificial quantum singularity drive, albeit in testing only. Right. That would probably be, like, just one prototype. Most of the rest would probably stick with the fusion power or... Mostly matter-antimatter reactors. Of course, yeah. that kind of showed a problem when the... <laughs> That's why Romulan ships using quantum singularities have large negative spaces. Yeah. Still, the vessel proved its worth, even if its lifespan was... A bit short. She was retired in 2320. <laughs> Just like most of the ships of the general of that general time frame. Of course, her yeah. legacy continues to live on in the form of the Didiridex and the and the whatever the tier six version of the Didiridex is. <laughs> Let me look that up on my phone real quick. Let's see. So, in a way, this is the most influential Romulan design ever. Of all time. Bookmarks. Bookmarks. Star Trek Online. Playable Starship. Come on. Oh, do this. Okay. Playable Starship. Scroll down. Scroll. Scroll. Amulet. Alright. Tier 6. The Decalera, I think. Let me call that up. Yeah. D apostrophe K H E L L R A. Anywho. Yeah, anywho, let us get to the stats for this thing. She this is thing... She is 50 meters shy of a galaxy. 
Yep, and it probably has at least a thousand crew. Six hundred, actually. Six hundred. So s still counts as scale five by the by those standards. So we have forty nine points to work with. And all of those are going to be dedicated to power generation, protection, and shields. This is yeah. not a subtle vessel. Her cloaking device yeah. is only used for one purpose, and one purpose only. To get close, and to drown you with heavy plasma. Right. So we'll do comms, computers, and sensors at 7 each. That's 21 points. So that gives us 28 more points to work with. We'll put the engines at 8. We'll give it secondary reactors for the talent. For at least one talent. I'm All not right. entirely sure what else this thing would be mount <laughs> would be doing other than, well, I hate to yeah. say this, but she's not a science ship. She's not designed for surveillance. She's designed to blow shit up. Yeah. So, let's see. Put, we'll put weapon. Okay. So, let's see. Weapons and structure nine. Let's see. 9 plus 9 is 18. 1 by 3 sevens is 21. 18 plus 21, 39 plus 8, 47. We got two more we can add. Um, Alright, I'll put an extra point each into sensors and weapons. So, COM 7, computer 7, engines 8, sensors 8, structure 9, weapons 10. A formidable vessel. Yes. And... You know what? I think we're going to dive in on the experimental... On the heavy... Exper on the nature of this thing as an advanced ship for its time. We will put two points in engineering and one point in security. That would most likely apply to its quantum singularity prototype. All right, we will. Uh, yeah. This ship is not subtle. Yeah. Uh, e even even if, if the even if we don't do the ship with the quantum singularity prototype drive, this thing still has quite a few. This thing is probably still fairly experimental. Well, she ushered in the age of the battleship, of the super battleships like the Yamato. Though, yep. technological progress kind of, uh, outstripped her. Still, she's exceptionally formidable, and, well, Excelsiors would have a bad day with her. Especially with some fr vessels equipped with the Mauler. So it does have the Mauler. Eh, some ships could. That's okay. that is solely at the recognizance of the person using it. Right. I will put the mauler as optional. I will put it an optional tag for the mauler, both weapons list and special rules. Otherwise, it's pretty much just like any other Romulan ship in terms of weapons special rules. Disruptor banks, disruptor cannons, plasma torpedoes, strength 4 tractor beam, special rules, cloaking device, hyper-focused plasma torpedoes. Pretty much. Yep. And for talents, as I said, it has secondary reactors. Just because it will need more power and limited in. I, and I gave it a low engines for low speed. So, hmm. Secondary reactors can be taken multiple times, if we want to do that. We're not going to have much choice. This is not an agile boat. Alright, so we will give this thing secondary reactors times two. And so. hopefully the boys at Cryptic go, hey, this is a TMP boat. 
we desperately we make... need more TMP boats. Yeah. All right. We'll leave it at that in terms of talents. That gives that gives players room for. It gives players and GMs room for a mission profile talent as well as two additional talents. I don't think I got anything else for this thing. Beyond the fact yeah. that it's really big, mean, and well, kickstarted the Dideridex design lineage. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. I don't have anything else either. Unless we wanted to do like a special notable starship, but we don't need to do that. Mm. I don't think the Quantum Singularity testbed actually had a name. Just Q, just A Q S testbed. Right. Well, well, I well, we won't worry about that right now. Though, so sometime we, I know, sometime soon we are probably going to need to do a special episode where we take a look at some of our older, uh, some of the some of the stuff we've done before, and give them special, and give those design ships notable ship, give those space frames notable starships. Anywho, that is the Condor class. She started a trend, a trend that continues to this day. But yep. she was not the most powerful Romulan warship of her time. That will be next time. Bye.